from Cyprus. It's the 49th annual Miss Universe pageant. from a plane, not pilot it. She loves the rush of adventure sports. She's gone white water rafting, rock climbing, bungee jumping, and trekking in the Himalayas. That's our little daredevil, Miss India. a degree in economics, but what she really wants to do is direct documentaries on wildlife and different cultures. She also loves to whitewater raft, climb rocks, and trek the Himalayas. All right, India. Oh, you're from a family of pilots. But say your goal is to, you know, you want to jump from a plane. <laughs> Are the pilots in your family that bad? <laughs> Um, well, not really. My father and my sister are both pilots, but I guess I've clocked in so many miles sitting behind flying as a passenger that I guess it's time that I jumped out. <laughs> That's something I've always wanted to do, skydive. All right. Now, India has had some very prominent female leaders. What makes women politicians different from men? I think what makes women politicians different from men is a certain amount of sensitivity. Um, I think the women are very strong in India, they're very well educated, those who are educated, and um, they're standing shoulder to shoulder with their men and making a mark in their own field. All right. You. You've been trained in a very uh, particular classical Indian dance. You knew this was coming. Help me pronounce it and show us a few steps. Uh, well, it's called Bharatnatyam. I can't do it in this gown because I need to squat to dance. <laughs> but it's um, about fitting into a universe which is square and your center of gravity, therefore you squat, so your center of gravity is lower. And a few steps, well, it goes with your hands. This is Pataka, that is Tripataka, and that is Padma. Well, thank you, India. Thank you. You may take your mark. girl blows me away. Completely Dilling. blows me away. She's absolutely breathtaking and she really seems to have it all together. And the thing is, she's so calm. She just exudes calmness Grace out there. under pressure, I think it's called. I and think she it, has it. if she were running for office, I'd vote for her. You just the voice believe every, is unbelievable. Yeah, believe everything she said. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to Sinbad. Alright. India. Same question, same amount of time. Alright. That's your fan club. Here's your final question. Right now, there's a protest going on right outside here calling the Miss Universe pageant disrespectful of women. Convince them that they're wrong. 
I think pageants. I think pageants like the Miss Universe pageant gives us young women a platform to foray into the fields that we want to and forge ahead, be it entrepreneurship, be it the armed forces, be it politics. It gives us a platform to voice our choices and opinions and makes us strong independent that we are today. Thank you. Thank you, India. Once again, our three finalists. This girl, I really have to stand behind. When she grabbed that microphone from Sinbad, she, she pulled in the audience with look, her bean. Her she presence. knows. She knows that she handled it so, so well. Miss Universe 2000 is India! Gentlemen, you're reigning Miss Universe from India. Please welcome Laura Dutta. Laura. Laura. Good evening, Jim. Welcome to Puerto Rico. Thank you. I've spent two incredible weeks here, and they've gone so quick, but they've been absolutely wonderful. Hopefully, it, it was the end of a wonderful year. This is your week. We honor you as you have honored all of the women of the world as the reigning Miss Universe. Some of the highlights. Would you share those with us? Gosh, you know, it's really difficult to say. I've traveled 600,000 miles. I've visited 42 countries from Japan and Indonesia to Venezuela and this part of the world and a lot of Europe. But I've always said that it's not the place that you've been to or the most wonderful hotel suite that you've stayed at, but it's about the people that you've met and the stories they've had to tell. That's made my year. Well said, young lady. <laughs> so what advice would you give them, Laura, as someone that has walked the runway. Well, really just to be very much in the moment, to know what you're doing and to give it your best shot. And they've got everything going for them. All right, this is it. The judges are now making their final decisions. They're doing it at this very moment. Now, Laura, you know exactly what this is like. There's nothing more the girls can say. There's nothing more they can do. This competition is over. What's going through their minds right now? Todd, they're probably really nervous. And, you know, they're reviewing their answers. They're wondering if they left something out, if there's something else that they wanted to say. But I think they did an excellent job. Now, this moment is probably still fresh in your mind. It was just a year ago. You were right here. How did you deal with it? You know, I was really, really nervous. But it's important about being in the moment, focusing, keeping your mind open to listen to the question, and then giving out your answer from your gut. And I think that really counts. All right, fair enough. I know they must be holding their collective breath back there on the stage, so let's send it back that way. What a journey this has been. A year filled with emotions, learning, friendship, and growth. From meeting presidents to working with children with AIDS, this experience has changed my entire perspective on life. So many people have given me so much strength, inspiration, and the gift of dreams answered. I thank everyone at the Miss Universe organization, the face-to-face -face campaign, and the United Nations, as well as the Harvard AIDS Institute for supporting my work with HIV AIDS. Thank you to Susie, Jake, and Kristen for being my angels, and Terry and Linda for being my friends, philosophers, and guides. To my country and its people for their warmth and love. To my parents, you are my inspiration, and I love you. I stood with faith in my maker a year ago. I stand with him now and thank him for his blessing as I pass along a wonderful gift to a new Miss Universe. <laughs>